Hi, this is Lance from Solar Electric Technology. Today we've put together a short video for you on ground mounted solar PV arrays. So here we are, we've, we've lined up our posts about two metres apart and with this auger we're digging holes down uh, about 1.2 metres into the ground there um, and we'll fill those with cement to fix the posts in place. So it's important to get the posts around the right way so that when you put your other fittings on afterwards that they're facing in the right direction out towards the sun. Okay here we are we've got our posts um, in the holes now and cemented in. You can see we've used string lines to make sure the posts are all square to each other and we've fixed those in place with some timber in the meantime to make sure they don't move while the cement is setting. And at the top here we've got another string line making sure the posts are all very close to the same height within a few mils. We've used quick drying cement so we've poured in the cement uh, into the ground and put a bit of water in, put two bags of cement in each hole and uh, they've stuck there um, pretty, pretty well. So now we've set out our support beams which we will fix onto the posts and which will give us the correct pitch or adjust to the correct pitch for the site. Uh, the support beams will fix to these top caps here which we're bolting on here and this is what they pivot off. So now you can see the support beams in place. They're all set out at approximately the same pitch so the panels sit flat and we've used a string line across the top of them to make sure they're all the same. It's quite easy to adjust here by moving the bottom leg in and out to, get the, to change the pitch and it pivots on the top here. So it's all fully adjustable and very strong. You can see the cement in each hole so those posts are locked in there nicely. So over here we've dug a trench from the last post down to the house to the switchboard. Uh, trench is 600 millimetres deep to the, to the standards and we'll run the wiring through there in a conduit. So now we've got all our rails up. So there's two rails per panel. So the panels lie across two rails and there'll be a row of panels right along the bottom here and across the top. And the rails are just clamped onto the support beams top and bottom. It's quite simple. So we've just used a measurement from the bottom of the support beam up to the first rail. Fix them all along so they're all square. And then the same again for the second, third and fourth rails as we go along. We're about a metre off the ground from this bottom edge. So that when you put the panels on there, you can still get underneath them, cut away the grass, and that sort of thing. So you can see the panels there laid nicely across those bottom two rails. We made those nice and square. So the second row, we put those on, they'll sit nice and square as well and just fixed on the same as a roof mounting system really with mid and end clamps. So you've got four clamps per panel and they're all fixed in place so that they bond to those rails for earthing purposes. And we're tying up this wiring after we've finished fixing those panels on. So now we've got our second row of panels up above the first there, they're all square, we've got a gap in between the two rows just so they look nice. And panels are clamped on once again with mid and end clamps, like so. So 
So we've pulled our wiring through the trench with conduit now. Conduit's running up the post with the wiring up to the top of the post there and comes down with a, with a gland so moisture can't get down into that conduit. All the wires you'll see there are tidied up nicely and tied into the channels so they can't get damaged.